everyone and welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. For those of you that are new to my channel, hi, welcome. My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician for over 10 years. As promised, guys, I'm bringing to you my updated facial tension release video. Um, so this is what I have been um, doing lately to release the tension in my face, neck, and shoulders. And I have been loving it. It's working out so well. I don't know if you guys can see a difference um, in the way my neck and my face look. I mean, with this new routine that I've been doing and using the Time Master Pro, it's making such a big difference in my skin. So I'm gonna talk to you in order of what I did um, before you go into the demo so you can kind of like relate to it a little bit more. Now this demo is going to be long, guys, just so you know, because I did everything, I'm leaving everything in um, full speed. So the first thing I do is I prep my skin by giving it a really good cleanse. So that's what I do first, okay? The next thing I do is um, I use the Aduro 7-in-1 LED contour mask on skin booster mode or pain blockers. So skin booster mode is red LED light therapy with infrared. And then pain blocker is um, blue LED light therapy with infrared. So the reason why I like these two is because it really preps my skin for the treatment, okay? When you are working your fascia, you want your tissues to be warmed up. It helps release the um, tension in your muscles, but it also really helps smooth out that fascia more because if you go in there sometimes cold, um, fascia is like, it's sticky it's kind of like jelly like in between your muscles and at the surface level and when it gets cold it kind of gets a little bit tough to move around and when it's warm it smooths out easier for you okay so i prep with doing a 20 minute session of the adoro now if i was going to be using devices after this i would use um i wouldn't be using the adoro first i would use it you know right before my microcurrent treatment which i will explain that when we when we get to that video and while I'm using the Adoro, you'll see it in the video, I have this um, neck device that I have been testing out. Um, it's called the Relax Ultima Neck Massager. So they sent this to me to demo. And this gives you a really nice um, neck massage. It's about a 15 minute cycle. So this uses heat and electrical muscle stimulation. So it delivers everything through these two little pads. This just rests on the back of your neck. You have to wet your neck first and then put this on. You can't be wearing any jewelry. And of course, you know, like if you have some, you know, device implants in your, in your body, like a pacemaker, you can't use something like this. But what it does is there's three different massage modes on here and the heat, and then there's 15 levels, there's a remote. It delivers those electrical um, stimulating pulses right in the back of your neck. It's like on both sides of um, one pad. So your spine will run in between here and one pad's on this side of your neck and this one is on the other. It's amazing. It has been helping my neck tension so much. So on the days that I'm not working on my neck by doing um, the Acera and the Jane Skin or the um, Omna by Jane Man, I use this. Now, this is a 15 minute cycle. You can use it twice a day. You don't want to use it back to back. You use it like maybe, you know, you could use it. You want to make sure that there's some time in between before your next treatment. You don't want to sit there and just keep doing this and keep doing it. So the, the great thing about this is you can use this anywhere because it's portable. You can be like, you know, laying down on the couch, you can use it. You can be using it while you're sitting in front of the computer anywhere, guys. It's amazing. I have been loving it. Um, so I will list the, I will list everything down below, but I will list this down below too. So this actually, um, I believe it's on sale for $79. It is rechargeable. I have been loving it. I'm so glad that it's here. My husband loves it too. It's been really good for him. Okay. So the next thing that we get into in the video is, um, our massage. So after I do all that, the first thing I start out with is using the Lanshin um, Massager by Acera. So this is a porcelain um, massage tool and it's covered, coated in tourmaline to deliver that um, 
infrared heat into um, your muscles. So you pour boiling water into this and you work it and you use it. It's, it's made for like releasing tension on the neck. However, you can use this all over your body too. It's an amazing tool. You guys have heard me talk about this. I even did like a little sped up demo of it. So I'm giving you the full demo in today's video. So I, I use this, I warm up the tissues in my neck, my chest, and in my jawline. And then I go in with the Omna by Jane Mann. So I love this tool for working your fascia, okay? So I've had my clear Omna for like over two years now. And I really love this at first to just use as a scalp massage tool because I thought it was like too big and too bulky for my face. Well, this clear one actually kind of is, um, but I learned to work with it because if you saw my older videos, I used to have the Ashley Black Fascia Blaster, but the one that was made for the face, which is called the Face Blaster, well, you know, I've broken that so many times because of the way it's designed. It slips out of my hand and then it falls on the tile floor and then it just busts, okay? So it busted. I'm not gonna spend $55 and buy, or $65 to buy another one when I get more use out of the Omna. So the Omna is really nice. I actually like it better than now that I've discovered how to really truly use it. I love it for working the fascia in my face and my neck, my chest and my scalp. So the Omna is designed to be very functional all over. So you have the spine here, which you can use to stretch out your fascia and your muscles. You can use it to um, you know, smooth out the muscles and flush the skin. You can use, these are called the thumbs right here. And these are you use to do acupressure and pressure points in your face. And then you have the fingers and the fingers are where the magic happens at smoothing out the fascia with the the when you're smoothing out your fascia you can either go vertical or horizontal okay so you don't do fascia in circles you it's up and down you use light brisk movements i love this you can use this all over your body too to smooth out the fascia all over um, amazing tool. I love it. Um, in the inst instructions with the Omna, I want to tell you really quick because I did not demo this in the video. I just went straight in to work the fascia. But there's also acupressure uh, points listed that you can use. So if you're suffering from um, active acne, you know you cannot do like facial massage on the skin where you're, you know, uh, using like a gua saw stone or doing the fascia tension or fascia release because if you um, break open one of those pustules, it will spread the bacteria all over your face and then you'll break out more. So what you would want to focus on is doing those acupressure points and they're all listed here in the manual. It's very easy. Um, it's also the movements are listed here. Now I'm going to leave a link to Jane Mann's channel. I'm going to leave a link to Christine Byers' channel and I'm going to leave a link to Art of Skin Care. Oops, oh, I don't want to drop it. <laughs> um, so you guys can check because all three of these um, lovely estheticians have their own way of using the Omna. Now Jane goes into depth of um, doing some really advanced moves, like especially if you have a tight jaw. Um, very um, uh, great videos and artist skincare. They have a really good um, introduction to this. And then Christine Beyer has um, videos on tips and tricks on, um, you know, how to get the most out of your Omna. So, yes. Yeah, so I'll leave links to all those. Okay. So the next thing I do is um, I'll do that. But uh, with doing my scalp, I not only use the Omna, but I also use this massage brush. It has these specially designed bristles and it hugs your scalp and gets in there and really stimulates blood flow. So I'll list this. I did talk about this in my um, video where I did the um, non-invasive facelift with the devices. I did show this in here and I got a lot of people reaching out. So I will link that down below. Um, Last thing I do in the tension release is I do um, ice rolling. So this is my favorite ice roller. I love ice rolling right after you work the muscles in the in the face um, or anywhere in the body, um, but especially the fascia because it helps to keep 
you from feeling any soreness because if you had work a tight area of fascia that hasn't been worked for a while, sometimes you can be a little sore after and then also um, getting a little bruise. And what that bruise is, is because when your fascia is tight and distorted, it's there's blood flow that is restricted. And once you loosen up that um, tight fascia, blood is restored and sometimes it results in a bruise. Now, I haven't had any issues with it on my face, but yes, I have on my body. And icing right after really helps. So ice rolling after is amazing. So I show you that too. Now for massage mediums, um, I like to either, so if I'm doing it right before a device, I don't use anything with oil in it. I'll use my conductive gel. I like the um, Lemieux O2 calming gel or that um, Sculpla pr uh, Promoter Collagen Gel is really nice to use. And I will sh show you guys that when we get to the device video. But I really like to use um, organic jojoba oil or um, on the nights where I'm going to do this, like right after I get out of the shower, I'll do this right before I go to bed. I'll do my fascia release. I love to use the Daily Repair Moisturizer from Bella Aura Skincare. And the reason why I like to use this too is because it does make a wonderful massage medium. But after I use this, I don't have to worry about washing it off my face. With the oils, I wash off because I don't leave oils on my skin. I just prefer it that way. That's just my choice. I don't like using oils on my skin anymore. I prefer moisturizers. <laughs> and um, so I can leave this on. So after I finish my massage, what I usually do is put a little bit more on and leave it on as an overnight treatment mask. So I wake up to really glowing, plump, juicy skin. Okay. So, all right. So that's it um, for this introduction. Now I won't be seeing you guys after. You guys are going to just go ahead and roll into the demo. I hope you enjoy this demo. If you have any questions, um, please leave them down below in the comments box. I love you guys. So if you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Um, you know, like the video, comment, share, subscribe to my channel. It really helps my channel when you guys like my videos, okay? Now, my next video coming up is going to be this makeup look. I'm not gonna be doing the device video this week. Um, I wanted to do it, but like I'm still focusing on releasing the tension in my face and I don't want to go into a microcurrent right now because I really want to make sure this is all nice and broken up and that's another tip for you guys. If you guys are just starting out microcurrent, it'd be really nice for you to focus like for a full week on releasing the tension in your face before you get started so you could really see the results, especially if you don't do facial tension release. Um, others, I would suggest taking a break off of microcurrent. If you do have really tight tension in your neck, chest, in your face, release that tension so you can really see the results from your devices, okay? All right, guys, enjoy the demo. I love you, and I will see you on Friday with that lawless makeup look that you guys have been requesting. Love you so much. Mwah. See you Hi soon. Hi, everyone, and welcome to my updated demo of how I've been releasing the tension in my neck, shoulders, chest, and face. So what I first like to do is I cleanse my skin, and the cleanser I use is the Bella Aura Gentle Purifying Cleanser. I give my all the areas I'm going to be working a really thorough, deep cleanse. Then I start off, and I put on my Aduro 7-in-1 LED mask. Um, I use it on the wrinkle, what is it, skin booster mode. And the reason why I like skin booster mode is because it's red LED and infrared. So it's going to help with prepping the tissues of my face. I like to have some um, warmth in the skin. Now this doesn't heat up, but there is a little bit of warmth in there. And I feel like it prepares my skin and the tissues for a really good relaxing massage. You could do this before your massage, you could do it after. I've been doing it um, before and I have been loving it. And then I have this device on my neck. So this is called the Relax Ultima. It uses heat and electrical muscle stimulation to relax the muscles of your neck. And I have to say, I have been loving it. And what I like to do is I like to put this these two devices on before I start to release the tension 
in the areas that we're going to be working. Now, the Adoro, I do leave on for about a full 20 minutes and the neck massager is a 15 minute cycle. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off for the sake of the video, but I just wanted to demo this for you guys. So I'm gonna turn off my Adoro by pressing and holding the button, okay? And here is my skin. <laughs> and then next what I do is I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the Relax Ultima um, neck massager. And I love this, guys. Um, if you don't have any um, medical implants and you're not sensitive to um, ele <laughs> EMS, electrical muscle stimulation, this is fabulous. Um, I've been using it a lot. My husband's been using it. We've been loving it. <sighs> okay, so now that my tissues are prepped for massage, I'm going to just, I have a tube top on here so you guys see I'm not completely naked. We are gonna start out um, with prepping our skin with some oil. I'm just going to use a light oil all over, and I'm gonna be using this organic jojoba oil. I like jojoba oil for massage because it's very, um, there's no scent to this, and jojoba mimics our own sebum, and it's something that our skin will recognize so it won't break me out or anything like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take some, and first what I'm gonna do is kind of warm it up between my hands, and then I'm just going to press it into my skin. You don't need very much, but you wanna have oil in the places that you're going to be working so that you have some slip so you won't be tugging on your skin, okay? So I'm gonna be working my shoulders, my chest, my neck and my face. And the last thing we'll do is our scalp. Okay, so I got a little bit too much, but that's okay, my skin will probably soak it up. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna start off is with the Lanchin Massager by Acera. Now I've already filled this up with warm water or hot water and I let it cool so I can just get right in there and start melting that tension away. So I have the one with the handle and I highly recommend picking up the one with the handle because, you know, this is um, porcelain and you don't want it when you drop it, it's going to bust. So if you get in certain areas like in the back of your neck or your shoulders, you can drop it, you know, accidentally. I mean, I almost have. That's why I love the handle. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start off in the back of my neck, right back here on my occipital and I just run this in three circles um, clock counterclockwise and then three circles clockwise, okay? And the next thing I do is we're gonna work this part of my neck and then I just take it and bring it down in slow motions. I hope you guys can see this, okay? And I kind of run it a little bit on the back of my trap there. And I do this, you know, I don't really count. I just do it until like I find that tension melts away, which is usually like about five to 10 passes. Okay. Okay, and then I do the same thing on the other side. I'll keep everything in five strokes so it doesn't make the video too long. Okay, next thing I like to do is go into little circles on the opposite side, right back here. Up and down. Feels amazing. Okay, and I do that and the same thing over here on the other side. Next, I take it and I just go along the area that we worked and then just do these short strokes. And I'm using medium pressure, guys. You don't wanna dig in there too deep. 
and just do these short strokes. It feels amazing. Okay. And then go over here and do it on this side. I really hope you guys can see that. Okay. So that's what I do. And I hope you could see that. <laughs> and then the next thing I do is I like to run it on the back of my shoulder. So I just go like this back and forth. Okay. And I get a lot of tension right here in this area because I sit a lot. And I'm always either on the computer, on my phone, and it makes those shoulders go forward. So I just run this back there, okay? And do the same thing on the other side. You guys can see. Run it back along your shoulders. Because if you have a lot of tension in your neck, it does come from the shoulders. So the shoulders, the chest, and the neck, all those muscles, are connected guys your fascia is connected in that area so if you're tight if you're satching over like this more than likely you have tight shoulders and a tight neck okay the next thing I do is I like to take it here right on the side of my neck right underneath my ears and I run it along I'll use the other hand so that this doesn't get hunched up and I just run it along my neck on the top of my trapezius muscle now, for me, this feels different on this side because my um, left side, I think it's my left side, my right side is um, lower than my left side on my trap, and it's because of my hips. So, so I do that about five times, then I come over here and do the same thing with this one. And just so you guys, so that you see how I'm running it along the trap? That's what I'm doing. Okay, we'll do it five times. Okay, and then next what I do is we're gonna work the rest of the neck and then I just kind of move over and do it five times. But like I said, you could do it five, 10 times or just keep doing it until you feel that tension release. I have so much tension in my neck, sometimes I don't feel it release right away. So I'm doing this all in real time. So you guys could follow along if you like. Okay, so next we are, are going to work the sternomaster, I can't say it, the st sternomasculoid, okay? So this usually gets really tight if you have a really tense neck. And sometimes when I work this muscle, I feel it all the way down into my shoulder. So you're just gonna zigzag just like this. So you start at the bottom, zigzag, come up underneath your jaw and work your way down. Like you're doing some cross fiber there. Okay, and then you do the same thing on the other side. Okay. Okay, and next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do these short strokes, like starting right behind my ear. And then I work it along my jawline and I could really feel this because I'm a jaw clencher. And I even come up underneath here, underneath my chin and I work it too. Oh, it's really sore over here. Okay, after I do that, I just go through and do some long strokes again. All throughout my neck. 
Okay. Next, I'm going to do the jaw. So I start right up underneath here, underneath the jaw, work my way up until I get to the front of the ear, and I do three circles. We'll do this about five times. If you are a jaw clencher, you have TMJ. This feels amazing. Okay. Okay, and then I do the other side. So you can use this massager all over your body, not just your face, your neck, your shoulders, and your chest. I like to use it before we get into the facial release of the face because since there's warmth involved, it really smooths out that tension in the muscles and really props them to get in there and do that fascia work. Because when you're working your fascia, you should have your tissues somewhat warm, just like you do before a massage. Because if your muscles are cold and you're dehydrated, so make sure you're hydrate, it's harder to release that tension, like the muscles and the fascia just won't really budge that much. If you want a quicker um, tension release and to really soothe it, everything out and smooth, heat your tissues before you could do in go in and do the work okay so now we're going to work a little bit more on our jawline so i start here at my chin the middle of my chin and i go up underneath my cheekbone all the way up to my temple and do three circles okay feels so good guys And do the other side. Okay, I think that was five. I kind of lost count. Next thing what I do is I come over here and I'm going to just do five back and forth motions on the collarbone to help loosen the muscles up underneath there, kind of stimulate the lymph. Okay, and then I'm just going to run it along my chest here to the front of my shoulder and work my way down right here. Open up the chest, smooth out the fascia and the muscles here. And then I come over here and do the same thing. You want to use light pressure with this as well. So if you are suffering from a lot of tension in your neck, shoulders, and your face, you're seeing your skin starting to sag, you really want to focus on all these areas I'm going over with today. It's going to make such a huge difference. And I don't know if you guys could already see like a difference in my jawline from, you know, in my past videos is I'm starting to really get rid of the waddle here. And it's because my focus for the last couple weeks has just been to really work this tension out. Sometimes I will go little circles right here on my shoulders too because if you are sitting in front of a computer all day, you will feel it. Now you can use this and take it on your arms too and work the fascia, smooth it out. You can use it on your hands, which I would recommend that you do that. <laughs> okay, so now we're done with the Acera. Now we are going to go in with the Omna. Now with the Omna, I have two. This one I'm going to dedicate um, to my scalp. <laughs> and also I'm gonna probably use this one um, sometimes on my body, like my arms and stuff. And then I'll use this one specifically for my face. I have two, but I really like to use one for my scalp, have it separate um, 
especially if I do my scalp first, I don't want to go back and put this on my face. So I usually will would like to go into the scalp first before I get in with doing the Omna on um, the rest of my body. So how I do a scalp massage is, first thing I do is you could go ahead and put a scalp treatment in if you'd like, oil, there's something special that you wanna use. And then what I do is I have one of these really nice scalp massaging brushes. So I like to go through my hair first and you take this and you put it directly on your scalp. Okay, and this stimulates blood flow to the scalp. It feels so good, guys. Okay, so I do that a couple times and then I go in with my Omna, okay? So what I like to do is I like to start out at the back of my scalp, right here, right at the occipitals, and I go up and down. And I even go behind my ear too. Okay, you just work this all the way around your scalp. Okay, now with your um, scalp massage, you can do this for five minutes, you can do it for 10 minutes, it just depends on what you feel. Sometimes um, I'll spend like a good 10 minutes working my scalp. And then I just work it all the way around my head. Okay. Make sure that you get around your ears, guys, because we hold so much tension in the ears. Get in your temples. Work it all over. So this is my favorite way to massage my scalp. I love these tools because they save my hands and they really get in there and work the fascia, okay? So if you are starting to see lines on your forehead, you really wanna go in and do scalp massage. I'm gonna tell you why, because the frontalis muscle here runs all the way back to your, all the way in, in the back of your head. And if you are squinting a lot, you're seeing those lines come up from frowning and stuff, you need to release the fascia in your, your scalp. The best way to do that is have a fascial releasing tool like the Omna, okay? With your hands, you can get in there and work the fascia, but not as good as something like this. This is amazing. And if you're trying to grow out your hair, once you start doing these scalp massages, your hair will grow so fast. Like my hair, like I just got it um, highlighted like two weeks ago and look at how much it's grown out since I had it highlighted. Okay, so I do this pretty much every single day and that's the reason why my forehead has looked so smooth. I have one little wrinkle here, one right here, one right here, and one right here. You guys probably can't see it, but it's from when I lift my eyebrows, that's it. But I've always massaged my scalp and that's why my forehead looks so smooth and there's no wrinkles. So another thing, what you can do is you can either go this direction or you can do cross fiber and come back and go this direction. I like to do both directions, especially on the top of my head because in my temples, I get really, really tense right up in there. Okay, so there's scalp massage. Next, what we're gonna do is we are going to work the fascia in our neck. So after I do that, I'll just run through with my Aiku scalp massaging brush. And I'm just gonna put my hair up again so you guys can see. This is gonna be a long demo, <laughs> but you guys requested it. So that's the reason why I'm doing it. And also I feel like this is really, really important. Okay. Okay, so now that my hair is up, it's time to use the Omna. So I am just strictly going to be working the fascia. And what I like to do is I like to start out by working my chest first. So what I do is I just take my Omna and I run it back and forth like this. You don't need to spend, you know, like that long doing this you could do it for like a minute okay a minute or like 
yeah, I would say a minute. Okay, and I like to run it all over here throughout my chest. Go in the middle, up and down. So if you're seeing those wrinkles, this will help loosen up the fascia. And if you're feeling some pain, Okay, so I start out with my chest. Okay, next thing I like to do is go on the back of my neck. So here we go. So I do the side, just like this. So I spend a few seconds doing this. Okay, we're creating that blood flow. I come up underneath my neck and I'm using about a one. So it's barely touching the skin. You don't want to dig into your skin when you're working your fascia. You just want to use light, brisk movements. Okay, you see that blood flow right there? Okay, we're good. So I come back and do the same thing over here on this side. You take it, you can work your traps with this too. Remember, light, brisk movements, okay? You can go to like about a two on your shoulders. You take it and you just work it, just like what we did with the Acera massager. Work the shoulders with your Omna. I even go pretty back down. I feel like my fascia is really distorted in my shoulders, okay? And then, just lightly, briskly move it along your neck. You see that blood flow? Now, there's all sorts of different, you know, techniques you can use with the Omna. You can follow Jane Mann, you can follow Christine Beyer, you can follow um, Gina from Art of Skincare. They have some really good videos. I like to take it underneath my chin. Work that turkey neck. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my jawline. Okay. Again, very light, brisk movement. And if you have skin that is lax, you can move your cheek over and make it tight. Or you can brace your skin with your hand. But I just move it over. So I like to work here where the depressors are. That really helps if you're starting to develop the marionette lines. Okay. And then when I'm working my jaw, I'm having it cupped underneath too. Okay, you can take it in the front of your jaw. Or I'm sorry, your chin. Also what I like to do is I like to take it on the back of my jaw here, right here, right in front of my ear, and work that area too. You can even use the fingers. So the fingers are for acupressure points, so you can go in and do your acupressure before you work it, and hold it for like three seconds. Feels good if you, if you that feels amazing if you suffer from TMJ or clench your jaw. I'll work this, and then come back and work the face and then when you if you're seeing horizontal wrinkles then you want to um you could work the fascia vertically if you're seeing vertical wrinkles you want to do cross fiber and work the fascia horizontally i do both okay Next, after I work my jaw right in through there, I do vertical movements. Get right in front of your ear here too. You can do some pressure release. Okay, next thing that I like to do is take it over my lips. Go back and forth over my top lip here. Okay. And you can even do it on the bottom area. Okay. 
Then what I like to do is go underneath my cheekbone. Now, sometimes what I do before I work these areas, I'll do pressure points just to release some additional tension. <clears throat> now, that feels amazing and it does take a little bit more time. So it all just depends on what you wanna do. Like there's so many um, different ways and different techniques that you can use with the Omnet. I would say go horizontal or um, go vertical, horizontal, never go in circles because we do not wanna work our fashion circles. We either work it um, horizontally or we work it vertically. So you do cross fiber, okay? Next thing what I like to do is come over here and if you get wrinkles from squinting right in here, the bunny lines, I'd like to take like the two uh, fingers of the Omna and work that a bit. And you feel it. And then I just take it underneath my eye. And remember, you want to use light pressure, okay? And work your eye area. And then I come over here and take, I usually like use one or two fingers you know, it all depends on how big your space is, but you're, it's like you're working the crow's feet, okay? So you get in here and you work the temple. You can go cross fiber too. Okay, and then I usually put my brow in between these two fingers and go back and forth like a windshield wiper motion. Work the entire eye area. Okay, and then I do my forehead. So with my forehead, I do um, horizontal and vertical moves. Okay, I really feel it in those areas, okay? If I do vertical, I just go up and down. Okay, so just like that. Now, if you're working the 11s, I like to come in here first and do horizontal moves. Or you could do cross fiber. Or you could kind of go at it like an X and work it in the different directions. So you can loosen up that fascia. Remember, light, brisk movements, okay? And for me, I just do one side of the face at a time and then I'll come over here and do all that on the other side too. Okay, so that's how I release um, my fascial tension. Next, I'm going to show you how I um, flush everything out and do a little stretching. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and worked the other side. So now I'm going to show you. So you can use the spine of your Omna just like how you would with Gua Sa. So when you do Gua Sa, I, I like to um, use my Gua Sa stone as like sort of just to flush my skin out after I do any sort of working on my face with um, the Omna. So, okay, so what I like to do is I'll use the Omna and I'll just come in the back of my neck and I'll just kind of stretch it out a little bit. I'm doing this a fast way. Jane Mann has a really good video showing you how you can use the Omna to stretch out your fascia after. So I'm just going to show you how I do it quickly sometimes. Okay, I always start with doing my neck first. I should be holding this. Sometimes I'll go um, slower and just really let that muscle stretch. If I don't have a lot of time, I'll do it sort of fast like this. And we still get some relief out of it. Okay. So I'll just come and flush. You can, you know, go ahead and do this more than once. 
but I'm just showing you for the sake of the video. And then what I like to do is bring this all the way down and then flush out the nodes, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Bring it all the way down. And then the last thing I do with the Amna is I come over here and I just work my collarbones just very lightly just to flush that lymph out a little bit more. If you're feeling, you know, pain in here too, um, there are also, it could also be because you have a stagnant limp and also, you know, tightness from your neck and your chest. Then what I do is I take the Omna and I flush everything out from my chest over here. Okay. Okay, so now that's done. Last step is ice rolling. So your face is gonna be red after you release tension. Um, when you are getting in there and working your fascia pretty deep, if you're not going to go into doing microcurrent right after this, then I would suggest you ice roll. So I love to ice roll if I'm not gonna be using any other devices. Um, so here we go. So how I'm going to ice roll is I'm just going to use this underneath my jawline here. Just go three times. And do not use this on damp skin, guys. If you use it on a damp skin, the roller will stick to your skin, okay? I like to go up on my forehead. Okay, and then I come down and do some additional flushing. You can ice roll um, first thing in the morning too on your cleansed dry skin before you do your skincare. It's amazing. It makes your skin look so glowy. So I usually like to go like three, five passes when I ice roll. It's very quick and it will feel really good and it instantly will calm your skin. So if you have redness in your skin, pick up an ice roller. All this stuff will be listed um, down below in the description box. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this demo. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you soon. Hey, now, take a step outside and seize the day now.